Generic greetings and welcome to Starship Theory, the spaceship building and exploration game where you will create a modular spaceship out of different parts, train your crew, meet other vessels, talk with them, trade with them, fight with them and then die, mine asteroids and then die, fly over a star, generate too much heat and then die. You will die a lot in this game, like... Like a lot. I don't think I can stress that really any more than I already am. Uh, this is early access version 1.0J, so it isn't finished yet. I've played about two and a half hours of the game, so it's a first impressions, but enough to me to get a decent sense of the game. A lot of people are name dropping and calling this a mix between FTL and RimWorld, and hold your horses right there. That's right in checks that this thing can certainly not cash for various reasons, which we'll get onto later on in the video. But overall, I think it's not too bad and a great start. But let's go to new game, and I will show you a little bit of it and you can decide whether it's something for yourself or not. So we've got a new game and you get a, a skate pod, a skate pod 2 and a random selection of crew. They've all got loads of statistics but here's the thing right, the game is very very readable like I appreciate just how readable it is. If you're ever unsure what something does just mouse over it and it will give you a little bit of a blurb of what it does. So agility improves movement speed. There you go. Quite concise, tells you what it does. Engineering improves building speed, repair speed, and engine operation. Again, no messing about, no massive pile of flavor text, it just tells you what it does mechanically, and that's what we want. Anyway, that's our crew, let's you click start, and obviously it's going to randomly generate the, uh, the galaxy and the ships and all of that sort of thing. And then we'll probably die. Uh, so, we will pause it for a moment while I run through a couple of things. First things first, in the center, obviously this is our ship. Uh, very, very stylized in... Um, yeah, it looks like Rimworld. Let's just just let's just not mess around with it. It does look a bit like that. In fact, it looks like a lot of these top top down games. Um, uh, yeah, not Prison Architect because I, well, yeah, go on then. Yeah, we'll call it that. Uh, we'll call it um, <laughs> Sim Airport. We'll call it the, the lot, right? You know, they're all got this same same sort of um, same sort of look. Big black lines. Yeah, that sort of thing. Anyway. We'll get onto that uh, later on. Um, so, where were we? Right, UI. Uh, top left, we've got time controls. We've got a pause here. We've got some buttons for grouping. And then we've got some toggleable options for lots and lots of menus. And if you don't like menus, well, this game is not for you. Let's just get over it. Let's just, just, just put that right at the forefront here. This ain't for you if you don't like going through a lot of menus because there's a boatload of them. So, we have got our Skate Pod 0 2. I'm going to rename that because we can. We're going to call it the Generic Spacefaring Vessel 1 because hey ho, we can. Uh, and then we've got a lot of other stuff that we should be aware of. So, first things first, our shields, which is 0. Our armor points, which is zero. Our hull points, which is 100%, which is good. 100 out of 100. This is good. If that gets to zero, guess what? You'll die. And then we've got a heat mechanic, which I really appreciate, because I do like a good implemented heat mechanic, where you have to worry about um, the heat you're generating, rather than just firing everything and going for full alpha strike on uh, every opportunity. But yeah, you've got a heat mechanic, and uh, if that gets too high, you start to burn, and then you get fires, and then you will, you guessed it, die. You've got some different codes, so red, black, and blue. Again, you just mouse over it, and it tells you what it does. So red is focus on combat rolls and repairs and then blue is all crew members return the ship black is um, abandoned ship you got some jump settings as well, which currently we can't do. Auto fire settings again can't do because we've got no guns. This is an escape pod, and then we got what's in our cargo, how much power we're generating, how much CPU we're generating, um, everything you will place apart from maybe perhaps the the basic uh, hull and ground stuff uh, will require either energy or uh, CPU depending on what it is. We've got some role assignment options, which we'll do in a moment. And then finally, the bit that we're all excited for, the building. So you can see there's a lot of stuff you can build, and you can build some quite big spaceships, although I haven't made uh, things much bigger than, say, about this big. Not in a cube, I haven't made a bog cube. I made some sort of, like, um, like long trench back here, and then a thing. I basically tried to make Excalibur from Babylon 5 Crusade, because um, that's my favourite spaceship ever. So, yeah, I tried to make it. It didn't work. I got hit by an asteroid, and it split in two, and I died. So, yeah. Uh, so let's just go to hole, and what we're going to do is clicky, clicky, draggy, draggy, and we're going to build a bit of hull like so because we can uh, that that big will probably do and you can see it's now a science if we un if we uh, unpause it these are going to stand around and go uh so what do we do well you build that now you can actually tell them to do that manually you can right click on any of them and you get again a bit boatload of statistics or their health, their morale, uh, things like that, and you can say manual control and go over there and eat, sleep, and whatever. They will go about their business on on their own. You know, they will take care of their needs if they need to. So if they, if, they, if if you haven't got a manual control, so they will drink, they will eat, they will sleep, things like that. But if you've got a manual control, they'll just stand there and die. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign uh, all all four to engineering tasks, and what they will do is as well, an engineer constructs and repairs. As you can see, again, very readable. You just mouse over it, tells you what it does. So engineer constructs and repairs. So what they'll do is they'll go out the air 
airlock, which is this thing here, and then we'll go crack on and build. Now, I've only got 65 metal, so I do need to gather more resources, and the way you do that, primarily, is mining, and we can do that by going to utility, we can go to a mining laser, we'll put one there, and then I'm going to put a small heat vent on here, because mining generates heat, and if you don't dissipate your heat, you'll set on fire. And that's something, that's something you really, really, really don't want. And then finally, we do need to have a little bit more power generated, so we'll go for a small solar panel here. And then what I'll do is I'll prioritise these three here. There we are. So, these will crack on with whatever tasks they've been assigned to, and then once they've done that, uh, with that, once they're done with that current task, they'll go ahead and go to the priority one. They won't stop what they're doing. So they're going to walk over. This is Anne, and they're, I say walk over, they're going to fly over because they're in space with their little spacesuit on, and then they're going to uh, assemble all of this here. Excellent. So we've got a asteroid field coming up because that's just the general thing you get. You do get um, alerts to show what's coming up and things like that. You can build better sensors, as far as I'm aware, to uh, get a better idea of what's coming up. That, that, the, the whole thing's in there. So you've got things like control for heat, you've got armor console, shield controls, you've got different furniture, uh, you've got different weapons like railguns and torpedoes. All of this is locked, as you can see. One of the things you really need to do as fast as possible is get yourself a navigation console and a research station, because otherwise, well, it won't go too well. Uh, what I'm going to do as well is remove this corner piece here and I will prioritize the removal of that because we want to put a full corner section in here instead of just like a slanted one. You can do slanted stuff and um, uh, make different shapes but I don't really want to do that at the moment. I just want to crack on with just a big cube which I can uh, put a bit of hull down. You have to place the hull first and then you put the floor down. Anyway, so we'll max speed out and then we'll see what happens. Uh, we will start coming across some asteroids any moment probably. Uh, no. Oh, there we go. There's the asteroid field coming up. So, what you can do is you can mine these asteroids. And when the asteroids blow up, there's a chance of them having different materials inside them. Whether that be gold, silicon, water, or... Um, is it metal? Yeah, it's called metal. I wasn't gonna, Is it called mass, like on Total Annihilation? No, it's just called metal. Uh, and we're going to place that there. Okay, so we will uh, probably click on the mining laser and then start mining. The mining laser does have a maximum range, as you can see. It doesn't go any further than that. It does turn white when you're mining whatever you're trying to hit. And you can see on the top left there, it's generating heat. Do not let that go too far. Ah, there's a red asteroid that is metal, so we will mine that. And ah, I've generated too much heat, so now we start taking a little bit of damage. It's not too much of a problem if you get a little bit, because it's uh, it's only a little bit of damage you take. But after so much, you will start to explode and uh, set on fire and things like that. So you really do need to keep an eye on it. Now, to answer the inevitable question, can these things hit you? Yes, these asteroids can hit you. In fact, it is often a extreme cause of death. Um, it's it's very often a cause of death, uh, to be quite honest with you. I'm trying to mine this is pretty much impossible. The bigger the asteroid, the more it hurts, as far as I'm aware. Either way, I'm going to try and mine this before it hits us. By the way, when it flies through us like that, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to hit us. It just obviously means that there is a chance of it uh, hitting us. Uh, something you want is well, you, if you if there's anything coming this way and you really don't want it to hit you, then you're best off mining it as fast as possible. Uh, so I just mine this thing here, and looks like we've got a ship detected at long range. We've just blown that asteroid up, and the uh, little rocks are flying away there. Uh, we'll, looks like we'll mine ahead. It's best to mine ahead because otherwise if it's sides you might have a problem picking the stuff up. You can actually extend the range of your mining laser as well. This is called a mining uh, range extender I believe. Oh, generate too much heat. Ah, sack it. Let's just generate loads of heat and you can see what happens. It looks like there's some... Uh, Looks like there's some uh, water there. Uh, and the ship is on an intercept course. Oh, there you go. Look, there's the fire lock. We've now got a bit of fire because that's, a, a, that's because I generated too much heat. So the way to resolve that is to put the fire out. Well, we can actually just vent. We can probably just vent our airlock and it'll put the fire out, but then it'll keep, it'll keep uh, burning because we're still too hot. So what I'll do... Actually, no, sorry. Uh, what will happen is if we were still too hot, if we are over our threshold, it would keep burning. Uh, it would just keep setting fires and then going out. But if we open it now, what it'll do is depressurize this area and then um, the fire will go out. But I have nowhere to repressurize it. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, something I don't want to do. What I'll do instead is remove an engineer and give an operations guy there, which operations is navigate sensors and heat management. Actually, we'll probably just leave them as general then, which is cleaning and putting out fires. Um, I do believe, though, that the... The general or the other ones, I think operations do put out fires. Either way, that's now put out. And, ooh, we have another ship. Hello, how's it going there? So, they are not currently hostile, it says currently. Because we can actually uh, find some horrible people that shoot at us. So, there you go. They're in uh, pretty much the same sort of stuff as we are. They've got, I'm guessing they have... 
I'm guessing they have a jump drive. We don't have a jump drive. It sucks. Uh, we've just got a standard engine. Anyway, they want to either... Uh, well, they're wanting to buy Megan so we can sell Megan for uh, 504 credits. We do have currently 400 credits. We can buy 7 metal for 81 credits. We can sell water or we can buy food. I think I'm going to buy food because that's quite important. It looks like they've just been hit by an asteroid. Do you see that? So each module can take separate damage and stuff and it will do. Um, but yeah, that's interesting that they've... Uh, hit that there. What I'm going to do is I want to build I want to build another hang on where is it? Uh, it'll be an engineering solar panel. I want to build a solar panel back there and I want to remove this one here because um, that means I can then place loads of floor here and then have a big open area. Now obviously that's not something you necessarily want because at the end of the day you can um, you can uh, you can get hull breaches and it's all simulated where the oxygen will just go out and then uh, you get spaced and then everybody dies. Right, so anyway, let's just mine... Um, is that not on? Uh, power on. There we go, it's now powered on. You can right-click on most things and power them on or off. If you if you right-click on anything, you get loads more control, so that's useful. Uh, it looks like we are not finishing that bit of hull for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why. We do have the resources for it, it's just they're not doing it. Oh no, there we go. It looks like they've um, spent some time going inside for some reason. There we go, there's some, is that, is that water? I think that was water. Or might be silicon. No, it was water, it's water. Okay, let's go to flooring, and the flooring requires, um, how much does it require? It requires two metal. So we'll do that, and then we won't be able to do most of it because, well, we haven't got the metal for it, but we will start mining more roids and see what we can find. Um, I've generated too much heat, so let's wait until it cools down. There we go. You've also got an evasion as well. Over here, you can see a ship evade. So it's taken a lot of things from FTL, so evasion shields, things like that. I mean, I'm not saying that that's. Uh, I'm not saying that FTL was the, you know, the uh, was genesis when it comes to doing shields and armor and stuff like that. But just the way it goes about things is very much like that, and I don't really have a problem with that, honestly. Um, but let's just let's just you know hit the nail right on the head. It's not as good as FTL, and it's not as good as RimWorld. But it's a bloody good start. Um, you know, like, what, what what you've got so far is the idea of those things mixed up. So you build a spaceship, you go around this, like, universe where it's, sort of, like, FDL. That's fantastic. Concept, amazing. Execution, early access. Um, but that's not to say that I haven't had fun in this one, but the majority of my time has been spent really quite annoyed that I've died because of some RNG-based horribleness, where a spaceship turns up and kicks the crap out of me because I can't kill it, or an asteroid has hit me at my water dispenser for the third time and everybody dies. Um, things like that. Or you just go over a sun that is just massively too hot for you to deal with. You get a lot of that. Uh, the, the latest patches, in fact, pretty much all of the patches as far as I can tell, have been solely to resolve that issue. It looks like there's been a lot of passes to get that fixed which is something I me and a lot of people I'm guessing are going to appreciate so that's fine but just be aware at the moment as a time recording it could be an issue um also um there is times when it can be a bit slow like now I'm just mining you know I don't know how you make mining more more interesting other than this like other than just clicking and dragging and uh, yeah it's mining you can't really make it interesting it's just part of the game but um those are things you'll meet so you'll meet a nice warming sun which could be too warm uh, there'll be different planets which i don't know if you can do anything with them i'm assuming you can talk to them uh, if i get so like an operation um sensor console no i don't know if you can do like away teams i don't think so at the moment, but maybe that's going to be something I did in the future. If I mean, it might be a now, but like I said, this is a first impressions. I've never had the opportunity to land on a planet. Maybe you get that later on. But uh, there's also no, like, random events, apart from the stuff that turns up. There's no, like, um, narrative like, like FTL used to put up where you would get a narrative saying, oh, well, here's an abandoned space station with and here's some choices. You know, that would be really, really nice as well. But all of this could happen uh, later on as development progresses on. But you don't buy on premise, not anymore. Maybe a couple of years ago you would say, oh yes, well, uh, it's got this potential and blah blah. Well, guess what? Potential? Yeah, we've seen what potential does. Potential has gamed in early access for three years and then is still not finished and released. <coughs> yeah, dizzy. Uh, yes, I'm looking at you specifically and I'm calling you out by name. Anyway. Mm. That's a nice beverage. Today's beverage is lemon tea, by the way. 
So, um, we're still trying to finish this bit off. I'm going to max speed it out because there's no asteroids to come across. When you get a navigation console, you can choose where you go and such. Um, the problem is, at the moment, I've got no metal. Like, not enough metal to really have any uh, anything built. So, if I go to engineering... Is it engineering? No, I'll be in uh, utility. A water cooler requires two... Uh, water cooler requires two, um, oh hang on, another asteroid, requires two metal. I'm going to place it there uh, because we've got currently no water or food dispenser. So hopefully we can get that built sooner rather than later. Uh, that's broken. I'm going to prioritise the water dispenser because otherwise we will die. Um, ship is now on intercept course. Uh, hopefully they will sell metal. You can see I am actually overheating my ship, although it's probably not a good idea to do so. Um, there we go, we're now dissipating the heat. There's a planet in the background. Obviously, it's all ran the background's all randomly changed and generated, and, it's, you know, it's quite nice. Even the UI colours is randomly generated, which is something I didn't realise until, like, my second or third playthrough. I thought, hang on, has the colours changed? Yes, they have actually changed. Ah, excellent. Look, we've now got some resources. Excellent. We're also well over our, uh, well over our heat, and that's probably going to hit us, that thing. Ooh. Please don't hit us. Ah, uh, we're fine. Okay, so we can buy a crew member. Uh, we can... So are these slavers or are they just wanting to jump ship? I have no idea. Either way, look at that. You can see they're now drinking. Because we've got our water dispenser, they're now drinking. Excellent. We can buy silicon, we can sell metal, or we can buy a crew. Well, we don't want any of those because we can't afford the ones that we do want, like the crew member. And we can't buy the silicon because, well, same deal. We don't have the, don't have the cash. So anyway, we're going to keep continue mining and see if we can get any more resources out of this. Just make sure we don't overdo it. And there. And there we go. Um, I'm guessing there's a way to take over. Oh, hang on. There's uh, something over there. Look at that. We'll get that. <laughs> Silicon, I think. Yeah, that's out of range now. Um, I'm guessing there is a way to take over other ships. I mean, you can manually control them and say, like, um, I don't know, manual control and assault. Maybe that is a possibility. I've never tried it. I've never had the opportunity to do so, so I don't want to give it a go. Oh, hang on. Right, we need to stop what we're doing in terms of mining because we're coming close to a sun. Now, I've already messed it up a little bit because I, I was over my heat allowance anyway. I was on 8 heat or 8 or 9 heat out of 5. But this thing is generating 1 heat. So now what's happened is because I already had a little bit more heat, I can't dissipate any more. I'm just going to keep generating... Well, I'm not generating heat, but I'm not going to dissipate any as well. So everything is just burning a bit too much in fact the water cooler is on fire i don't know how you set fire to water it's a bloody good effort though um either way we're just going to continue on a little bit further and eventually we'll pass that star and then there we go we've now started to dissipate our heat so we're no longer burning to death but we're back into an asteroid field. Uh, and this is really the majority of your game. You'll be encountering different vessels. You'll be flying over suns, um, you or stars rather, and you'll be mining like a lot. In fact, when you get a navigation console, uh, the majority of my time has been spent just in an asteroid field because it's important that you mine and mine often because that's how you get more resources. You want to build more mining lasers. You want to get range extenders. There's all of that sort of thing. Um, I'm trying to mine that, but it's just not happening. Come on, there we go, and there's some minerals, job done. So, we, once we finish this flooring, we should be able to hopefully get in a food dispenser and then a research console, but in order to get a research console, uh, we will probably have to have some more CPU and indeed more solar panels, but, you know, that requires more metal, which is going to take a while to gather. Sometimes the uh, the game can screw you up by the RNG, in fact a lot of the time it can, and other times, like now, I've probably just overspent, like I didn't really need to make the ship as big as it is now, so uh, yeah, let's just mine this out, and one of these might hit us, let's see, in fact what I'm going to do is go to food dispenser and put it there, there is a orientation to that, you have to have access to the front part of it, the water dispenser looks like you can get from anywhere, that's water I believe, yes, there we go, yeah, the uh, the food dispenser you need to have, you need to make sure it's uh, got f free access at the front. Um, okay, so we'll mine this out. There we are. And hopefully it'll break and get some resources. Oh, yes it did. I'm going to overheat my ship here because... Obviously, they're going, to about, they're going to go out of range, so I really need to gather that before they do. This is why I always say try to mine things ahead of you, if possible. It's, it's important that you do that rather than uh, the other stuff. Uh, looks like, because I, I even have prioritised that, the building the floor, because they don't have the resources to start that. Alright, fair enough. 
Um, I guess I'll start mining this mini because it's going to hit me and it's going to hit me hard and that might cause a couple of issues. Oh, yep, there we go. There's a lot of damage taken. You can see it's all damaged now. That's not good. Uh, I guess I'll move on and mine this thing then. The advantage of it hitting you is that sometimes it will break up and you'll get loads of resources off it. Like, you won't have to mine it, so, you know, there's that. But the resources you get off it, you'll probably spend off on uh, repairing your ship, so hey-ho. We're currently on 78 of 100 he uh, hit points, but it is going up, as you can see, because we are repairing it. But um, I'm assuming that does cost resources. I think it does. We'll find out now when we max speed up. Um. Ow, that hurt. In fact, it cancelled the bit I was building. Asteroid field detected ahead. Um, yeah, I can see it, mate. I'm in it. <laughs> it doesn't. Look, it is actually using resources to uh, repair, which is good. But uh, it did destroy, sadly, my food dispenser. So I'll put the food dispenser down. Um, so the floor we want to go across there, but I'm not going to place it just yet. I'm going to wait until. I'm going to wait until uh, we've got this built. Because a lot of people will be hungry. Yes. See, they've got a problem with... Well, hunger's very low. Oh god, it's actually so low that they might die here. That wouldn't be good. Um, and there's no asteroid field. I mean, this is the thing with an escape pod, right? I mean, <laughs> you don't really have any choice of where you're going. Aha, uh -huh, but we do have some asteroids coming up. Which I'm not in range of. Hang on. There we go. Right. So we'll start mining that. And hopefully, we will get some resources. There's one. In fact, we'll mine that there. And one, two, three. That's okay. Uh, by this point, I would normally have built another... Another heat vent. But... Because I made the ship a bit too big... Have a little issue there. Let's just mine that out. Mm, is that going to go outside of our range? I think it is. Come on, yeah, it's just outside our range. Damn it, that's a shame. Right, so we'll go for this one in front of us. You can see the, the background's changed to a weird pinky colour. <laughs> In terms of the aesthetics, I don't mind it at all. I think it's simple enough. It's job done. It tells you everything I need to know. As I said, the um, the main thing is the navigating the UI. If the uh, if if the menus and options were really annoying, then you know it would be literally unplayable. I wouldn't be able to stand it at all. But as it stands now, yeah, it's fine. It does the job. Um, I I mentioned this whole black liney thing on a couple of videos. I don't normally like this uh, that the choice of that where it seems to be like a, the lazy shade. They just put a big black line around everything. But in this case, I think it works quite well. Um, there's another bit of resources there. We'll gather that. Some minerals. Uh, are they going to build that? Not yet. Still don't have the and the minerals, I don't think. We, we have got the silicon. Um, five. How much does it take, that thing? Um, it does take for a food dispenser. Five, two, and... Oh, we should be building it now, then. Yeah, we are building it now. Excellent. Okay. We have the resources. So once we've got that, they will start to eat, which is good because they're about to die of starvation anyway. Uh, <laughs> come on. Come on. There we go. And now... Pretty much all of them will immediately go there and get food. Oh no, they won't actually because I can't power it on. I will now power it on and they will there. They will go now. The problem is that uh, because I've only got a certain amount of CPU and energy generation, I can't have everything on at the same time. So I've had to turn my mining laser off in order for them to get food. But you can see their health will now go up. Although that guy's probably about to get hit by a massive asteroid. So Terry, you probably don't want to stand there, mate. Probably not a good idea. Might want to move. Might want to move. You lucky... Lucky man. Okay. We'll turn that off and then we'll put our mining laser back on and then we'll start mining here. So, longer term, what sort of things do I want to do? Well, I probably want to get another... I want to get some more CPU. I want to get some more uh, heat dissipation. I want to get as fast as possible a navigation and research console and then obviously you can start building your ship up. Um... 
other than that, what else do you want to do longer term? Uh, you will want to get more crew members, you will want to get uh, some weapons and some shields because eventually we will encounter people that are not overly fond of us being alive. And then, yeah, these, really the sky's the limit. I can't say I've got any further than that. I've had a couple of, I've uh, placed a couple of weapons, I have uh, got shields and then, have I got shields? I think I've got shields. I might be making that up though. Either way, I have had a fight and I did I did win one and then lost several of them. Uh, the combat is very, very simple. You click you click on the weapons and you click where you, where you want to attack. Uh, you want to group stuff a lot actually, so I'm gonna um, so I'm gonna do that to group it. So you go control and whatever, so and it sets a, a group thing, so one, two, things like that. Just so you can uh, quickly select between uh, weapons and uh, that sort of thing. Because otherwise, clicking on loads of weapons at the front. I mean, you can click and drag like that, so that's not too bad. But if you've got, like, weapons all over the place that you have different groups uh, for, it's a lot easier than trying to click on all of your missile launches and all of your lasers and all of your whatever. Yeah, it's just um, a bit more efficient like that. So our ship is, well, it's very blocky, but as you can see, it's almost complete rated. We will have, ooh, some nice ice there as well. So we'll mine the ice, get some water. Water run 20 so far, so that's not too bad. Food you can grow. Uh, you can go for it in... Uh, where is it? That's another ship coming along. Uh, is it in here? Yeah. Small plant bed. Uh, we can buy silicon, we can sell water. Uh, or we can sell Yolanda. I don't think people would be overly keen on me um, essentially engaging in slavery. But we don't really know what type of galaxy we're in. <laughs> it's a bit generic in that sense, isn't it? We like at least FTL. You know, you've got a task right at the beginning. But uh, oh, that's a nice rock to uh, mine. But you can see that I've spent the majority of my time mining, and I don't think that is uh, unrepresentative, really. I think that's what a lot of people will be doing. And oh my good grief, I've now got nearly 30 heat. That's probably a bit too much. Oh yeah, that's a lot of heat. That is a lot of heat. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. But anyway, that is a little bit of Starship Theory. Overall, I quite like it. However, um, I think that it can be a bit boring at times. I think that's, I think that is, yeah, I think that's really what the words I was looking for. There is times when I'll just be sitting, mining for five, ten minutes. And yeah, you know, there'll be fires going off and I'll be trying to build up, but the, the, I'll be waiting for stuff. I'm just waiting for resources. Uh, it does speed up later on when you get more mining lasers and you can mine the crap out of loads of stuff. Fair enough. But, uh, yeah. My main problem is not that. Uh, oh, is it is a, uh, a star coming up. So, obviously, I don't really want to be firing my mining laser because my heat, as you can see, is now going up and down, up and down, up and down. Uh, and theirs is as well. But, um, you know what? I don't think... I don't think there's really any major problems here. I think... The issues that it has are to do with pacing and balance, which is early access territory. You know, that's why you do early access, to show to, you know, show to people, get their feedback, rebalance, tune, that sort of thing. And I think there's no major flaws that need to be corrected here. Um, I mean, you could probably call, call uh, lack of uh, balance in a lot of places and uh, pacing a flaw, but I'm saying it's mechanically quite sound. All of the building seems to work. Um, the All of the stuff for the people's needs is all implemented. You know, it's really, like, you know, I wouldn't say feature complete because I don't really know what other features they want to add. But uh, either way, it seems to be all there and working. But if you like the uh, if you like what you see, uh, links are in the description. You can check it out yourself. In terms of featuring this more, I know there's always going to be a call for me to feature more of this. Yes by all means I'm going to be featuring more of this because I think but well, I really like what I see I just want to uh, wait for it to get a couple of patches under it belt to uh, iron out a couple of those little niggles like a uh, random asteroid hitting uh, you and killing you and all that sort of thing but um, it's a lot better certainly after the first week uh, so that is a good sign either way hope you enjoyed the video links in the description so you can check it out yourself thank you very much for watching take care and generic partings